Wildcat Live is a student-produced publication. All content and editorial decisions are made by the staff and do not reflect the views of West Johnston High School or Johnston County Schools. Good morning, West Johnston. I'm Eric Bean. And I'm Madison Bell with this week's episode of Wildcat Live. You know, we really need to come up with something different. I mean, we say it every week. We can worry about this later, Eric. Well, if you say so. Catherine Terrell put a spotlight on Impact Student Ministries. Here she is with more. Luke Moore is the leader of um, Impact Student Ministries, and he's actually had this program going for the last three years, um, or actually the last four years, and this will be the third year that I've advised for the program. So Impact Student Ministries is pretty much trying to encourage young people to become better citizens, better Christians, better people all around to adapt to the world that we're going to have to live in once we leave here and just learn what it means to be a, a good Christian person. So we're trying to encourage young people to be better about themselves, be better towards their parents, their peers, their teachers, whoever they're going to be involved with in their life. Um, we are looking at implementing the peer tutoring that we discussed and we want to get involved in some other outreaches into the community as well like visiting senior citizens. All of that really is determined by the members of the group so we discuss things and then we vote on what they would like to do or get involved in. So everyone is welcome. Anybody who wants to come, doesn't matter who they are, where they've been, what kind of issues they've got. If they have no issues and they just want to come meet some people, it's a great opportunity for people to get involved. Impact Student Ministries meet every Tuesday after school until 3 and the first Wednesday of each month during homeroom time. I'm Katherine Sorrell, Wildcat Live. Thanks, Katherine. Disney movies and their songs are pretty well known, so we put a few of you in front of the camera and asked you to sing your favorite. What's your favorite Disney song? Akuna Matata. From what movie? The Lion King. Yeah. Of course. Can you sing some of it for me? Uh, uh yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Akuna Matata. What a wonderful phrase. Akuna Matata. Ain't no passing grace. It means no worries for the rest of your days. It's a problem free. Philosophy, Akuna Matata. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. Okay, ready? ready? One, two, two three. three. Let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. Did they send me daughters when I asked for sons? Reindeers are better than people. Ben, don't you think that's true? Yeah, people will cheat you and curse you and beat you. Everyone oh, curse except that's you. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm the girl? Girl who has everything. We're all in this together. And we know what we start. We're all stars and we sing it. Let it go. Let it go. I can't hold it back anymore. Let it go. Let it go. The call never bothered me anyway. Some of those were truly touching performances. Awesome. Now I have Frozen stuck in my head again. <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> Abby Presley had the opportunity to take part in the inductions to the National Honor Society. Haley Hughes spoke more about the event. On Tuesday, March 11th, about 100 new members were inducted into National Honor Society. Being a part of the National Honor Society means upholding the four pillars of the club, which are service, character, leadership, and scholarship. 
The officers of the club are myself serving as president, Carly Bird serving as vice president, Warda Hofsa as secretary, Abby Presley as historian, and Noah Murkowski as treasurer. The National Honor Society gives you great opportunities to participate in service projects and it also looks really good on a college application because it shows that you have the characters that you need to get into the club. Thanks, Abby, and congratulations to all the new National Honor Society members. Aw, thanks, Madison. Noah Murkowski sat down with Mr. Vanderlaski to find out more about the Rock and Roll Marathon. Mr. Vanderlaski, an English teacher here, is running for cancer research. I'm running in the Rock and Roll Raleigh Half Marathon and I'm running as part of the uh, Jimmy V, Team V uh, Cancer Research Foundation. Team V is the uh, team put together to run to raise money for cancer research for the Jim Valvano Cancer Research Fund. Currently I've raised uh, right around $400. My goal is $500, but I'd love to go over it. Anything more would be great. People can attempt to help out with this by scanning the QR code that's posted outside my door. It'll take you to a link to my website that would allow you to make any donations to the Jimmy V Foundation. Mm -hmm. I've had several people in my family that have been affected by cancer, so I thought it was important to run for a good cause. Uh, I myself am a cancer survivor. This is an organization that sets up with bands and they try to have a good time every mile. They have bands and people cheering you on and it's kind of a party atmosphere to encourage people to complete the run. I'm running the half marathon, but there's also a full marathon. I've never done anything like this. I've done several 5Ks, but I've never competed at this level, and quite honestly, my goal is just to finish. If you'd like to support him or Team V, you can donate until April 13th. I'm Noam Murkowski, Wildcat Live. I seriously think he might be the first person to sit on a filing cabinet for an interview. Probably the last. Although almost every country around the world outlaws slavery, it is still very much alive. Brandon Wiggins caught up with Abby Hartley on how she's trying to make a difference. The End It Movement is a lot of different um, organizations that are teamed up together to end modern day slavery. I really hope to just like raise a lot of awareness and I really want to do a fundraiser at some point and just to try to see if we can raise some money for the um, for the movement, so yeah. Is I've talked to my homeroom class a lot about it. Um, I did that last year. I've done the red X on my hand two years in a row, which is the In It Movement logo is the red X. And um, I've written a couple papers on it for assignments in class, and I'm doing a speech on it right now, so. Um, West Johnston could help the organization by raising a lot of awareness because most people don't really know about the issue with modern day slavery and then we could also do fundraisers to raise money for the end of movement. So, yeah. Well it's no secret that slavery is a big deal worldwide but another thing we deal with here at West is racism so do your part be nice to your neighbor and make everyone around you enjoy your presence and if you see someone being hateful tell them to end it. I'm Brandon Wiggins, Wildcat Live. Thanks, Brandon. If you missed last week's episode or if you're extremely bored and want to rewatch every episode. I rewatch every episode. Yeah, I do too. But anyway, visit our website, wildcatlive.com, to catch up. And if you have any story ideas. Or catchphrases. Email us at wghs.wildcatlive at gmail.com. I'm Eric Bean. And I'm Madison Bell. Thanks, and have a fantastic day. Hey, look who's adding a little variety. Oh, I have to say more, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, <laughs> Live at gmail.com. I'm Eric Bean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? I didn't know that. Website W. We were close, guys. I mean, this club. Ah.